Welcome back to the Love in Dubai show. We are now joined by someone who's wanting to bring out your wild side while working out. Salma Ismail, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me back on. I, I know. I last, last year. What were it. we doing last time we spoke? We were talking about the virtual training and yeah. the whole world of virtual <laughs> a move to, to all the virtual training stuff that was happening. But it was quite fitting because we were doing it. I was doing it from my apartment when we were doing the Zoom interviews. And where were you at that time? I was home. Yeah. Yeah, doing it from my home. Yeah, so it was good. And from virtual to non virtual, uh, do you think there's still a space for virtual trainings now that we're able to kick back into real life, I guess? 100%. There is. Because, first of all, you can reach people all over the world and people get to train their favorite trainers without having to physically be there. So it's always a good thing. I'm still doing um, like customized training programs cool. for people online. Um, but now that we're back to our studio, it feels good to have the human connection. <laughs> True. Well, the thing, we'll get into the studio in a yeah. second and the human connection. But just in terms of uh, the online stuff, is it this like, do you have that, that connection with people if, they're, if you're not seeing them? Because I feel like with a PT, I need to know them. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I need someone to like tell me what's what, and I need them to actually get to know me more than yeah. anything. Yeah. So, do you find you're able to do that with virtual classes? I mean, yes, because if you, first of all, if if with, you're with a trainer, they will spend time first getting to know you. So, the first virtual meet is just having a conversation, getting to know the person in front of you. Okay. So you're comfortable, and you become more aware of what the person in front of you needs. So I think it does work. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore on, on virtual as well. So they feel like they can't go anywhere on screen. So, but yeah, yeah, I think it will still do really well. This is what I was going to ask was the next question was, what is your training style? You say you're hardcore. Um, what does that mean? Does that mean you are like, no, messaging them? Like, hey, n- have you done your workout today? <laughs> no, like if, if I'm doing it on, on a video, mm-hmm. uh, means I'm just like, I won't let them get away with like, skipping reps <laughs> but no but everyone um that's what I mean when I say hardcore but yeah everyone goes on their own pace I'm just like really more attentive to not letting anyone slack <laughs> uh-huh. and what if someone doesn't show up on virtual in any class I wonder I mean I it's to me, like, I have like a, a personal yeah I mean uh, at our, our team Osalma team we're very connected with our um clients mm-hmm. we know if they don't come so we always give them a call, give them a message. That little extra yeah. little push really does bring them back. And I think that's very important with anyone. It's like to be more aware of why they're not coming. What is it that they need to keep them motivated? I think that's very important. Um, let's move into Osama. Well, actually, um, usually we give people a brief round robin of who you are. And of course, we've spoken to you before. But just in case our audience yes. is new to you, um, let us know a little bit about what you do. What's your day to day life like? Okay. So uh, we have a company called Osalma, and it's founded by my husband, Osama Faour, and myself. Fortunately, couldn't be here today, but he put his extensive experience in business development and strategy into the company, and I brought my fitness experience in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have the studio. I've been running women-only classes for the past five years, um, and now we have added uh, a new program to our Osalma, like, training programs okay and that's where we want to discuss today because it's something new it's interesting people sure not really more not really aware of it um and we specifically wanted to launch it in the dubai fitness challenge month because this month is all about celebrating movement Mm -hmm. and celebrating getting out and getting your 30 in a fun way because that's something i know some of my friends struggle with it's like we want to work out but also we want to find something that's like we're actually enjoying Uh, so tell us about the new movement that people may not be aware of So it's called Animal Flow. Mm-hmm. Um, Animal Flow was founded by a fitness coach called Mike Fitch. And it's a fluid way of moving using your body weight. And it enhances your coordination, your mobility, um, your strength, uh, your flexibility. Mm-hmm. Um, some people see it as a form of meditation. Um, some people also see it as a cross between yoga, break dancing, parkour, and gymnastics. It's all put together. Okay. Uh, Sounds like it needs rhythm. It does not need rhythm. Interesting. You, it's, 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 <laughs> a, it's a fluid way of moving. And okay. that's why I was saying some people see it as a form of meditation. It's based on, it all comes down to how you want it to be. And that's what I love about it is that you can tailor it to suit your own goals. Um, and that's where the idea of power flow by Osalma came up is 
I took from it, first of all, when they do the workshops um, in Dubai, like once or twice a year, if I'm not mistaken. And then that's when my husband and I went and got the workshop. And then there's an extensive course following with it that if you want to get a certified and be an instructor, you can go ahead and do it. And there's a whole practical exam and everything. So I definitely went and did that. Okay. Um, and what I love about it is that you can take from it what you want. You can either flow or you can take some of those movements and tailor into the program. Mm-hmm. So power flow is about, it's a three class series. Uh, one of them is completely animal flow choreographed uh, follow along class where you learn the language, learn the movements. Um, the second class is a uh, hit flow, which it's a combination between different types of exercises that people are more familiar with. And then we mix it with animal flow movements. It k- keeps it a little bit Talk more to challenging. Talk these animal flow movements because I've seen one video and it was quite animalistic. Yes. Um, can, we, can we like do a little bit of a sample here? Uh, well, can we do it sitting down? It, it, would, <laughs> it, it would need. It would need. There's always. Okay, this is also the thing. There's always one limb on the floor, uh, right? So it takes you back to the human ele- animal of you, you know. Uh, and also, what I love about it is the constant connection that you have with your mind, your body, and earth, because you're moving on the floor, um, and it really does make you move better. And the great thing also about this is that you can do. You can do the power flow classes on its own, and that can be your only fitness um, program that you're following. Or you can do it with whatever training program you're already on. It will just help you move better. Mm -hmm. Um, And I come from a strength and conditioning background, so I was all on heavy weights. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that looks interesting. What is that? And it just made me move so much better. Like I added it to my strength and conditioning program. Um, this might sound like a basic question, but I just want to uh, touch on the animal thing one, one more time. Yeah. Are you recreating animals? Is it like... It is a lot. In the video I see, like it's, it, there's yoga slash kind of like a, a quick movement. Yes. Like a roar. Yes. So are you, are, you like, are you making noises? Are you like letting no. out energy? No, or no? not at all. No, it's, it's letting out energy, yes, but that's with your breathing uh-huh. um, motions. But other than that is just really like you can put music on, you can do... Um, Uh, off the top of your head flows as long as it connects you can just see where you can connect in a more um, coordinated way so interesting it is very interesting and uh, and what I wanted to do is include the exercise that people are more familiar with mm. and include it into this program to create high intensity and fun and more dynamic workouts and does it is it um let's say for example you mentioned there's three series is that going to cover me totally should i be doing weights on the side should i be running on the side or am i good just doing these yeah the third class is kettle flow i love kettlebells um we've added the kettlebell as the weight weight training (laughs) program so what we find them tricky i never i never go up yes so what we do is that we teach you the technique Uh and we include some animal flow movements in it as well. So it's like a flow um, way of moving. So it can increase your strength. You can know how to use a kettlebell and that's all in the series. So that's three days a week and we're launching tomorrow actually, where we're doing actually a little small launch on Saturday. Uh, And for the Dubai Fitness Challenge, we're also offering 30% 30% off on our 24 flow pack. Oh. And anyone can come and try the class first on for free. Uh, you can come try it out. We're running it at Ray's Dubai, uh, Ray's Health and Fitness in Jumeirah Islands. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, in, in their um, a beach club there. So yeah, it's, uh, it's an early morning class. It's a great way to move in the morning before your work. What time? Uh, so Saturday, it's at 7.30 a.m. Okay. And then Sunday and Wednesday, it's at 7 a.m. And who will be conducting the classes myself and also coach Aida Talat, who's an amazing animal flow instructor and also a 270 hour yoga instructor and with a strength and conditioning background. So this, this sounds super cool, guys. If you want to give it a go, there's a free class ready and waiting. Yes. Um, so do check it out. And I, I think we can put a link or the details in yes, the comments definitely. afterwards. Yes. Um, but congratulations to you and your husband. So this is another business from you guys. What's it like working side by side with your numero uno? Well, honestly, So far, it's been great. Yeah. I mean, obviously, everyone has arguments on different perspectives. and But what I think is making this one work is that he has his own experience that 
he's good at, like he's great at, which is the business development and the strategy behind it. Mm -hmm. And I stick to what I know and what I love to do. So we don't really, we don't clash because he does what he does and I'll do what I do and then that's a great team. <laughs> but, it, but it's so interesting because uh, it's just great to see entrepreneurs in the UAE doing what they love. Um, what's kind of your favorite part of what you do? Honestly, for me, it's connecting with people because like during this, I've been in the health and fitness industry for the past 11 years. Um, I've connected with so many women and also doing something you love is It's just, there's nothing better than that. It's 100%. like, you go to work, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like you're just doing something that you love. So that was, that's great. Um, I, I would never take that for granted. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Well, shout out to you guys, especially for the Dubai Fitness Challenge deals that you're doing. I have to just jump in for us. As you guys know, with Love in Dubai, we are also doing a Dubai Fitness Challenge. We want you to do squats. as many as you want, Ooh. send us your videos. <laughs> we, 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 want, we had a time limit and we said 30 seconds and then we we're like, well, that's not that much. So send us your squat videos. Let us know how much you're doing. Tag us on Love in Dubai, tag Dubai Fitness Challenge and we'll reshare your videos. Um, thank you so much for your time, Salma, thank as you always. Thank you for having me. And good luck to this super fun flow. I I'm interested. Power flow. I'm yes, please come and try it. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you so much for your time, guys. That is it for us on the Love in Dubai show. We're back with you every single weekday morning, same time, same place. Stay safe, wash your hands. Bye-bye.